Hey guys, um, so sounds me a my brightness. There you go. That's better. Okay, um, a little bit early, uh, but I'm going to put some colour on this uh, piece of white gesso and paper. Okay, because we're doing a figure uh, over colour, so it's charcoal over. Acrylic colour today, okay? So, um, <clears throat> got about an hour and a bit to kill and um, see what we can do with this one. Yeah, yeah it's a figurative one, uh, partially clothed, yeah, have to watch what we're doing. And um, I'm going to use the colours, uh, some colour, to create this uh, lovely uh, lady's back and uh, we might paint some of the background as well, but I'm going to use some uh, charcoal over the top of it. So the first thing to do is put colour on. Uh, looking at the picture, uh, photograph, we've got different ways we can do this. Um, if I want to put warmer colours kind of in the skin tones, a head in the skin tones and then a lizarine going into the shadows and blue for instance, we could do. It does, it does matter in a way because you want to be uh, uh, you want to create the, the, the colours of the flesh tones underneath when we remove the uh, the charcoal. Okay, <coughs> so just looking at it, that's the that's the way I think I'm going to do it. She is actually one head, uh, two heads, three heads, four. Like five heads to where she's seated. I might um, do it down to the uh, uh, the seat, uh, <coughs> uh, the table where she's seat, sitting on. So I've got my colours ready because we need to dry it off. So I'm using a bit of bird sienna, got my palette, bird sienna, alizarin, and ultramarine blue. Uh, and I'm going to just wash it on uh, a thin kind of glaze because we don't want it to be um, too thick, else we won't, won't be able to remove it. Thin glaze of colour, uh, and then I've got my hair dryer. We can dry it off with. Okay, and then we can start with the charcoal. So without further ado, uh, it's only a bit late today, but we had my class this morning. So I've got uh, the third sienna I'm going to put on first, because this is going to be a kind of a lot of the warmth in the flesh tones, and then I'm going to add some. Ultra uh, alizarin crimson. So this is going to be in this area more or less. Uh, it turns on gesso paper, yeah, so it's not going to soak in. And then I've got ultramarine blue. Uh, we can put this here. So put it there and just let it blend in to uh, alizarin or whatever it wants to do. Okay, nice thin wash. Keep it simple. Uh, dry your brush a bit, or clean it then dry it, sorry, uh, just to get some of the excess moisture out. I just want to blend this a little bit. We could use a dry brush, that would be better, so we'll go dry one in. And let that blue and alizarine and sienna and alizarine, uh, but sienna and alizarine blend together if you like. So we get this nice um, uh, flatter tone body. Okay, I need a soft brush. Okay, we don't want to, I'm not doing drips in this one. Uh, try and get it nice and blendy. Um, so because it's a just of paper, naturally it's not soaking in the paper, and we can remove the colour, uh, we can remove the charcoal, we can do quite a lot to it. Okay, keep it thin, layer, get our hair dryer, and there we go.
Yeah, it's quite dry. I'm just going to stretch it a bit because it's got a bit coppery. Um, you don't have to do it. And then we can go big and get quite a lot of copper in it. Uh, it's because it's wet paper and dry paper. Um, pull in the centre out and then pull it uh, off the bottom as well. That should give me a bit more flatness. Okay. Still got a cockle again, but then it can dry flat. It's not as bad as it was. Okay. So it's nice and dry. I'm just going to make sure it feels a bit damp here. Actually. And then uh, we're going to do all the, the model um, using some willow charcoal, okay? Uh, we can cover the whole thing first, sorry, that's what I need to do. And then uh, sketch it on the top. So this is why we need to make sure uh, it's dry, otherwise you end up with streaks that you can't remove. Um, <coughs> all over. This is willow charcoal, yeah. don't use compressed, whatever you do, it's just much harder to remove and there's be black everywhere, so you should use your willow charcoal, like that, and then we blend all that, blend all that to give us a grey tone and then somewhere under there is all that lovely colour, okay, no yellow today, I'm decided not, I'm having a non-yellow day, uh, okay, so I'm going to sketch with that little lump, uh, blend it so we can blend that in, so we get this flat grey tone, like that, and we use this as our underpaint, really, our background. We need a rubber, don't forget for this, we're using a damp cloth as well, later on we will glaze it again, but you don't actually need could glaze it with yellow actually, just to warm up the uh, sienna and the yellow and the alizarine, it's an orange colour. But uh, let's see how we go. I never plan too much, you never know what's going to happen. So that's lovely and dry, it's not stuck, has it? No, it's not stuck uh, to, uh, to anything. The charcoal would stick to the wet paper, see? So that's lovely and dry. And then we'll sketch over that, yeah? Nice red to mid tone value, yeah. Uh, <coughs> and I want to do the full model, the full head. Uh, my paper's a bit wide, but uh, the full head. So I'm going to get the head. Well, I want to kind of just off centre, so she's going to be sat, sat sitting there, and the head's going to be around here. Uh, so I, if I put her head in like this. And then I measure, so I we're going down from like the top of the head to where a chin would be. So one, two, three, four. Do it again. This where I can just about see a jaw there, see. So I'm doing that one, two, three, four. Yeah. There needs to be five at least. So you're going one. Two, three, four, five. That should be okay. All right. She should be okay. So, first thing we do from this is look at the neck. We've got one. Two is going to take us from that down to the shoulder blade, which is this angle kind of here. Uh, so we say... I'm just using the other hand. One, two, so it's about one and a half. So if I block in the neck area, like that, uh, and I've got the shoulders at this angle, like that, okay? So I want to get this lovely kind of negative space of a neck, okay? 
uh, just where the darts are there. We can block this in and then the other side of the head, we've got this lovely curve, it's coming down like that. But that, uh, these are the shoulders, okay. Look where the shoulder is, right on there, the hair. Right? And actually, uh, here is there, yeah? so it's right kind of underneath there. So this is where you get that lovely curve of the shoulder coming down and then up. Okay, so we've got angle, shadow, uh, and then round and up. So that's your first shoulder. Uh, we can actually see the fingers. So if I move a straight line that way, uh, that's going to be the position of our arm. You can actually see the fingers, okay, on the back of our hand. But um, because we've got fabric here, you know, we're going to, it's going to cover most of the arm and everything, so it's coming that way. Um, and the hand is going to, the elbow is going to be somewhere around here. We can uh, have a look at that later. Uh, the shape of this shoulder, again, just under the ear, more or less, because the ear is there. <coughs> um, a little curve of a neck, which goes into the centre line for the for the uh, the back, which is a dark tone like that, yeah. Um, so from the shoulder now, going down, I've got uh, a straight angle, okay. Uh, so if I measure again, we can ju judge the distance. One, two, three is going to take me to just above the elbow on this. So that is three. So that's right. And here I've got the um, shape. Like that, of her arm, and then this lovely kind of negative space coming into this shape like that. So we can block that in. Use the clock. Uh, use the uh, the uh, uh, rubber to take out the dark a bit. Uh, so we can block that, in, and then we're coming down like that, and that's the back then. So this is a uh, arm, which is in total value. And then we get a negative space there, that's shared like a triangle, yeah, between the uh, the arm and uh, so from here we're actually coming down and uh, she's going to sit on that um, on this uh, table or whatever. So she needs to be really over the top of the hips. Remember the kind of hips are going to be. You know, try and imagine underneath where she's sitting and what is happening to the hips as they're coming this way, uh, that way she's going to be sitting. Uh, so you can't see the rest of the back because it's under there, naturally. So from here, um, we've got this lovely light, um, shape of the uh, cloth that she's got, she's wearing, and that's going to come down. And it actually just joins up just below there, so it's nice and uh, dark like that. All right, it's quite a simple picture, um, which just getting proportions right, that's all. Uh, we can move this arm over a little bit, just to give a more, I just want to get this shape of the shoulder correct, that's it. Uh, and the highlight, so we've got this shape and the highlight. The cloth, um, so that's the arm here. We've got another, we can just about see the arm from a hand coming out, and then that's this elbow. So that, that's in shadow, so it's quite dark. Um, if we look at the elbow, it's uh, it's not far off on level with um, the other side of the arm, is it? Is it? Shape like that. Okay. Uh, where this um, elbow is going to be, which is something like that. Uh, this is the cloth, and then here we're going down. Let's see where the blue comes in. She's got some flowers on her knee. She's got the lovely curve of, of the, uh, the fabric, like that. 
and now if you just say uh, the need went off the picture. Uh, all this is black background tone, uh, which you can block in. I've had COVID, by the way, and uh, I've tested negative twice over the last few days, so I'm back in class now, so that's, uh, that's okay. I don't know if I've got the after effects. I'm still coughing a little bit, but it might be the dust. It might just be the dust. So keep this arm. Um, oh, that's too big at the time. So if you take out the negative. All right, so this is this lovely, I want to get that shape here. And this might be a little too uh, big, a little, a little too um, high up, actually. And that's a nice shape as well. So we can blend that in. Okay. Um, we can use some. Uh, let's go for the right end. We can use some uh, tissue just to soften areas. We've got the shoulder blade, it comes from here. A uh, lovely angle, then it gets dark like that. Nice shadowy bit, and then that goes into her back. Excuse me, and that's a uh, nice shadow there. Okay, so we've got a lovely light there. Um, looking at proportion, stand back a little bit. You know, actually seeing more here because uh, of the, the angle of the camera, but uh, we've got quite a space here as well. Anyway, you can always crop your picture after, you know. You always make it thinner uh, than it actually is. Um, okay, we need to keep this lovely waist in. We don't want to look into too uh, chubby around that area. Uh, um, we've got this lovely light catch in here. I need to get that right. Uh, we're in the bed there. I'm better with the rubber, actually. And the light on the shoulder. Okay, so we'll use a bit of bit of um, tissue like this. Um, I uh, what I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done is the bun. Uh, uh, the bun in her hair. Um, but I can take the light off after when. Uh, 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 um, so that's coming down nice and dark, and then we're going into the back, which is there. So the shoulders, take off the light and the neck, keep the neck a little bit slim, don't let it go too wide. That's the angle of um, the side of her face as well. Stand back, look for the slight changes in tone. Because you've got this really nice uh, shape there. Right. That's a piece of tissue. And then I've got a scratch there. Well, I've got a scratch on the paper. And that's the shoulder, which is a little bit lighter there, out on the edge. And then going down her arm, like that. Uh, take off a bit of light there. Yeah. The rubber's going to be better, actually. Then we go up. Up the side of this other shoulder, that was quite light in that area, and we can do a little bit on her arm uh, there and there. Just blend it in so that arm uh, becomes a blue shape. We can also do the cloth, which is going to be lighter than uh, the skin tone, and we can also do a light here uh, in the back. Um, that's coming all the way down to here. So our negative space, we can take that out with the rubber. Uh, the lights and the cloth, fabric, all down this side of the figure. Uh, we've got some creases. Uh, we've got the table as well. Wanna take some light off that. Uh, we've got reflected lights as well, so that's good for the, the blue here. And uh, a bit of reflected light here. 
Okay. So I'm going to uh, put the charcoal away and use a bit of a rubber. Background. How do I do with it? Yeah? I might leave it, leave it as charcoal. I might leave it. I might paint it. Different tone altogether. I just want to get rid of some of this uh, dust. Again, don't be blowing it around. Uh, not doing any harm. Not for your chest. No. Not for your charcoal dust. Um, and carbon. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to use the rubber. Start at the top of the picture. Uh, I can start over here where the light's catching the bun. Like that. And there it comes around the bun. Okay. And then it comes down here. Like this. Because I've not done the light on the hair, I'm, I'm moving dust about it. Uh -uh. Okay. Um, so the light on the hair looks quite light around a bit of hair. Yeah, um, you can just see that here. Might be a bit big that now. Uh, the side of the face. And the neck and the hair. Yeah. Um, and this lovely kind of blend into the top of the neck. Now it's quite light there, so I go down here, I got an angle there, then I got the shoulder. Like that. Okay, so there's a little bit of tonal value there, so we can leave that in. Um, and this one goes down the arm, like that. Slightly darker at the top, slightly lighter at the top, like that. And then this, I've got this lovely shape here, something like that. That's quite dark. We'll blend all this later. Blend it. And then we've got this negative space, which is the shape between the figure, the body, and the arm. It's a, a nice negative space. Okay. There's a bit of light taken off at the back of the arm, which we do that it gets reflections. And then we can use this for um, the white. Fabric, like that. you can use white over that, and then the angle of the fabric, try and get, keep it angular. Um, again, we've got that lovely light here on the just above the, uh, the shoulder blade, and then it's really nice area that comes down, and then it curves and then it goes in. Really matches up there. That's it. This is twisting. This is twisting the back. Okay. Down to the fabric. And then we get here, it goes white. Because this is the fabric. Which is catching a lot of the, the light. And that goes all the way up to there. And even a little bit down here. So we can take some of that off. Like that. Like that. Just to give you some reflective light. So that's giving you uh, light, that's giving you shadows, and it's giving you reflective light. Like uh, this bit is darker, so we can keep that nice and dark. So here we've got a nice angles for the reflection. The rubber just fell to bits. On the fabric, yeah. Um, this is this little bit of a light, but it's not too dark. That actually, it's not too light. It's just got that twist, um, and this is the the light bit from the other shoulder blade. So that's the other shoulder blade. Yeah. Okay, so we can use white later to put that in. Um, 
it's a bit of a hair, a hair, and then coming round from there into that shoulder, which catches quite a bit of light. Okay, um, and that's the way you get this angle of the, uh, the shoulder blade. It's quite simple, oh yeah? We could play about and do some reflected light on the back of her arm, like that. Which is okay. Yeah. Um, just bringing the arm out so a little bit, like that. Just um, the fabric looks really strong light hitting top of it again we can use white for that and that's coming around you've got this lovely kind of fold and then a fold here you see and we can bring out these lovely kind of negative spaces uh, the back nice and strong keep the light area like this um, a bit of angles on this uh, fabric at the base. Just going off into the curves of the fabric. Uh, nice angle there. And then going down to where she's sitting. It's not sitting on the table. I can use the light again as a reflection. Like that. Um, we can use a bit on her knee as well. See, this is not too bad because it's. Uh, she could be getting more light from this side of the figure now, so that's why it doesn't look out of place. I'm not bothering with the flows. I'm just going to put in uh, the folds. Uh, Just like that. I stand back. Yeah, I'll turn it a bit because you, you're getting a half and half. Yeah. And then we're going to fix it and glaze it. Yeah, fix it and glaze it. I'm um, just looking at this bit. I'm going to keep that dark in there. Well, can we draw this? If I use a bit of. Um, Best charcoal. Uh, as you get here, it goes very dark, so I can put that in and then bring out the, the dark shape under that arm. Like that. And here, the shape of a neck is quite nice, and then we get the dark here, so I can put some compressed and blend it. That's what's quite dark uh, here in the hair uh, around the bun, anywhere that's quite dark. I'm gonna put this, but you can blend it, you don't have to block everything in, you know. You can just blend the dark bit into a lighter bit, or you can just leave it like that, scrambled. Right, uh, so we've got the shape here of the, the negative space around the hair. Like that. Like that. Okay, and then leave that. Uh, look at this arm again, and then where it hits the fabric, it's kind of darker. Okay. Got reflected light on that arm. Uh, that lovely light there. Uh, the fingers. It's up to you if you want to keep them in. We've got a curve and another one. Like that. And another one. So you can see, like, just a few other fingers there. So. And then this uh, 
shadow. Coming from the fabric, yes, it's just going past her arm actually. So, uh, all right, um, then we're going to fix it with some hair spray. Stand back, sun shining, lovely. Mix it with some hair spray, yep, all over. You need to make sure. I'm just going to. Before I do this, I keep looking and seeing things, you know, but sometimes it's uh, not advisable to keep looking and seeing things because you keep changing things. But then again, if you add little bits of dark, uh, you can make things stand out. So to make something lighter, you put a darker tone next to it, you know, like that. So where she's sitting on this, uh, this bench or whatever. You've got a nice dark tone, and then you can add the edge of the bench as well. Okay. <coughs> so spray, get rid of your uh, dust or the, the uh, rubber dust, little bits of roll paper, roll up, and then we we'll give it a spray. All over. Ah, uh, this hair spray. Okay. Uh, mainly in the head because that's where all the dirt are. And then uh, leave it, we can dry it off a bit. Uh, keep that lovely shape. And it's going to soften in a kit. The uh, the compressed, it's not coming out, should be okay. Touch the compressed anywhere else, actually. Uh, get rid of all that <coughs> and dust, and then we're going to glaze it. I think I'll just use the same, uh, same color. I don't see any. Um, I can put a touch of yellow with it, I suppose. Why not? That turn into looks like it's a hill. I never know. I could just warm the top bit. Uh, bit of yellow, big brush, plenty of water, mix with it. Lots of water. Okay, and then just go straight across. Give me the whole picture. Got this lovely warmth now, this light, and that'll warm up the uh, that'll warm up the the alizarine as well. So she got this lovely alizarine. I don't know if it's going to make the blue green. Let's see, that'll not be too bad. We'll just add a bit more water. You could use just water, you see, a bit of water, so it's not as yellow. So I'm not going as much green, and that just softens that, that area. Yeah. Uh, I don't want too many drips in this one. Uh, dry your brush off. And then take the drips out, and we'll drag them up like that, and drag them across. Get the excess water out, because you want skin tones to be smooth, not rough, the drips really, uh, so we just blend out these drips, these rubs, yeah, like that. So this is called knocking back, so I'm knocking back the picture by giving it a glaze of colour, okay. Doesn't matter too much about the background, but uh, I'll just do it all over, get a nice soft feel to it. Uh, uh, it's quite a bit of 
light hitting her model. Uh, it's wet, so she's going to be shining in a lot of places. Yeah, and she kind of slightly disappears. Yeah, and I can dry off, dry this off to give me. There. Talk about is that I can use the damp cloth for. Okay. Her dryer again. Vital instrument. Okay, that's dry. Um, damp cloth. Excuse me. Damp cloth. She's kind of, uh, I kind of like the way she's misting and disappearing. Anyway, I'll bring out some light. So I'm going to start at the top. Right. I can use this cloth to bring out a lot of light now. You know, this kind of lovely kind of halo around the the bun and the hair okay. uh, and the side of her head um, just a few little shapes Uh, if I want to get rid of all the colour, I can use some of that. Okay. Uh, I can also use pasta later. Right. And then we're getting into the back tones. Um, the skin on the side of the neck there. Um, yeah, I've left a little bit of dirt there, so I want to come round that with a little bit, of, and then this needs to be kind of lighter. So this will go into the other shoulder. <coughs> so this is very light. There's a lot of light catching it. I'll go back to the white of the paper near enough. Still see the tones, and then blend this in to the arm. Like that. Just goes into this shape. So go down the arm. Give us a nice light. Okay. Uh, take some mid-tone value off that arm. Reflected light. Slightly. A little bit more reflective in the middle, okay. And then we've got this lovely negative space between the arm and the body. Take a lot of that out. That gives us just a little bit of info there, which concerns us uh, 
the shape around the figure. It's amazing what just a little shape can do. So I'm taking some light off my cloth and then I'm going a lot stronger on this side of the cloth. I'm trying to do the folds as well. So we do you know, the shape of the folds and the light catching it like that. Comes down, that's because I'm mad, just here and there, and then the cloth on the back. So, if I come in from here now, this is a nice subtle change in tone there, then I've got this little bit of light there, and then that's coming down into the rest of the back. But it's not as light as the background. So just be careful there. Right. Okay. That the part of the back there is I couldn't really say, but you can use um, uh, pastel to bring that out. And here we've got more light catching this side of the back. Right here, especially there, as it hits this um, shoulder blade. There we go. And then that just comes around onto the shoulder uh, and blends into the shoulder blade. But very subtle change in tone there. This disappears into this white area, which is uh, quite strong. There's a nice white area there as well. Uh, don't go through. <coughs> okay, then this comes around. I'll go this way. Curving down a bit. Um, take a bit more up there. Like we can soften these. You know, I've got it all the same tones. You can soften the, the shadows. That. This one a lot lighter there. So I've used some um, white pastel actually. Just a bit wary of it being quite wet this one. And, uh, so I'm going to do a bit of negative around this side of the head. This gives you, I'm going to take some of the fingers out, like that, and a bit of negative here. It's very subtle there, you don't want a lot of light, just a little bit, yeah. Nothing, so we can keep this darker tone, okay. And then here we need to kind of soften the edge, soften the back. It's going to be quite dark as it gets to the light tone where the highlight is and then it's going a little bit softer and lighter and it's also getting reflections here from the cloth so it goes lighter still can you see so it's getting lighter still because that's reflected light okay just a little bit and then it blends into the rest of the bag <laughs> so that's more or less the back done. I will take out a bit of light for this arm, which is connected to the fingers. Um, I'll take out some light in the middle of the arm. Because like that's the, uh, the kind of reflection. And because we've got some blue there, so that works quite well. <laughs> then I can start looking at cloth. Nice and light as it gets towards the, um, the skin tone. Uh, it can have uh, a changing tone here slightly. And then it's going 
slightly later. It's getting reflected. Yeah. Like that. Maybe just join those up. Very, very strong highlight there. Which goes into the back. Okay. Stand back. Oh, I've got the sun shining on me. Have to take that off. Can't see with the sun on me. That's better. Sorry, the sun's reflecting. I didn't know. Um, I'm just going to look at some of these folds and creases in the in the fabric. I'm getting the blue tones now, which helps with this fabric colour, the cloth. And then here we're going into some of these folds. I'm going to use some white pastel as well later. Now the leg and the knee. Uh, so we've got a really nice softness to it, really. Looks okay. Um, the arm and the centre of this arm. And then this is sitting. Then you start to see where other tones are slightly different, you see? So there's a little bit lighter in the back, just to give that twist. Uh, keep the, um, the shoulder blade dark, where it changes tonal value, keep it dark. Um, we'll keep that leg like it is. <laughs> Fabric blending all the way through. Do a bit on the chair, table, uh, sitting, sat, sitting there. Uh, so there's a lovely kind of change in tone. Um, I'm going to use a clear white pastel. And this is hard white, white pastel. It's um, can buy a box of those, probably before. So this is lovely hard uh, white pastel and we're going to use this for lots of these uh, little areas of uh, highlight, especially in the hair, you see. Uh, we'll have to fix this at the end uh, again because it's got pastel on. Um, Here, uh, just put it where you see it on the picture. Don't kind of make it up. Uh, always put it so you can see it. Like that. And then we can see the shape. So we've got a lovely ear uh, catching the light. And as you come down, you get the jawline. Uh, that's quite a nice light. And that goes into the side of a neck. So that's a lovely kind of negative shape. I've got some very faint hair. Just catching the sun, the light. Put the same over that side. Just a little bit. Uh, we can also do some fresh charcoal over that side. If I can find it, it disappears because it's the same tone. So a little bit of hair just, uh, and we can use this then as our uh, um, dark tone again, uh, like in the air, hair and this ear, behind that ear. I'm just picking out little bits of information, like the, the shape between the fingers, 
uh, nothing too dramatic keep it just a suggestion those are the words suggestions yeah um, like that and then we're coming down from there into the arm a suggestion you see uh, we can put the elbow in as a suggestion and we're going to lock that in I want to keep that nice and slim don't want to be in too too big We've got the same weight now I'm picking out this lovely shape which uh, I did rub out so here got this really nice shape and I'm going to bring the body and the arm like that keep it simple and then we've got the same tone of value here the arm fabric going around the corner okay and like this and that now as you get going around the corner it goes kind of not as strong keep changing tone uh, but don't cover everything up that's the main thing this is nice light area and fabric stretching up we've got a beautiful kind of uh, highlight just catching the fabric there as it comes down and then you get to here and it goes a bit wider you see you could do this with paint but um, you tend to cover everything up with paint too much so I'm going to bring out this light bit and this one because that's where the light's catching the, the model and there uh, and then on the shoulder like that plenty of light on the shoulder okay, keep this arm disappearing um, we don't want it to come out too much from the background um, her might be a bit too big but never mind her back um, that little change in tone there uh, so not not a lot going on um, the fabric yeah and the light catching this beautiful Um, again, leave some gaps, you know, you would get gaps, you don't get continuous tones in the fabric because you change colour, it goes in a different direction, uh, it starts to look more of a chiffon type stuff because you can see through it in places like that. <coughs> um, and the reflected lights like that and so the edges are just getting coming out um, just like that and this is sitting <laughs> make that a bit lighter you can sit on the bench or whatever chair got a bit of light here on that area and then up here stand back yeah <laughs> excuse me um, strengthen some of the darks just to give you a bit of Strengthen that knee, make it stand out a bit. <laughs> that arm's quite nice. When I leave that, um, we got this lovely dark here, which could blend in the back of my neck um, from the bum into that hair. 
and it's down there and then around here okay we don't want to do everything and then we can blend that so she has got a nice strong uh, tone of a bun a bun um, and this one uh, yeah, we're going to spray it. Now I could paint the background. I could leave the background and just have a drawing. Sometimes it's nice to just draw around the subject. What that does is give you uh, a nice light on the figure. So if I want to darken uh, a shape around the figure, like that. It brings out the highlight from a distance. So you hardly see, you can hardly see the line when you stand back. So, but it makes the light lighter, stronger, if you like. <coughs> the fold of the fabric. I do like this. I'm going to get some darker areas where the creases are. Just a few. Uh, just here. strong tones subtle tones as well nice subtle tones I don't want the hand to be too I'm kind of looking at this thinking which fingers are they <laughs> and how many fingers you got how many are you counting so it's five to three I mean, well, the whole thing. I'm going to leave it I'm going to spray it and leave it um, and then look what I can do uh, another time. I'll just get this really nice light on the back and uh, show that. So this uh, nice hand, nice light there. So this, you go all along this shoulder is what I did. And then I put a dark line near it now. That's made it slightly darker. Okay. Have a go. I mean, for the length of time they take, you can get some lovely images just um, using a few simple tools. And the charcoal and a bit of acrylic. There's hardly any paint gone into it. Yeah, and it's quite it's quite a simple process. Um, I'm gonna take the tape off and uh, leave it. I've started using palette knife as well in, in uh, figures that have got you know um, draped in material. Whatever. To give it a bit of lovely colour, uh, which you can do, it's, it's like a drawing, and then it goes into a, a three dimensional image. So, we've got one more to go, which will be on Thursday. Sorry, can't do tomorrow because we've got a class. Uh, Thursday will be a week. 12, painting the style of, I have got someone, so I'll put it up, uh, painting the style of, <laughs> and then um, I do like that transition between the blue, the Elizabethan and Sienna, see, so that's, it's worked quite well actually, and then um, we're starting again on uh, Friday, Friday will be the first one of the next 12, if you're joining me, uh, then subscriptions are due, if you've already paid, thank you very much. And um, 
it's just help me so I'm not chasing people around saying, are you still joining me? But uh, it's entirely up to you, you don't feel like you have to. But um, I'll just keep going until um, everything runs out. Okay, so th thanks very much. Uh, I'd love to say I'd do a bit of gardening, but uh, no chance. Nothing really do. I'm going to leave it, and uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on Thursday, painting in the style of... I don't think it's going to be oils. I'm not sure yet. I think, I don't know if she uses oils, actually. It might be oils. So if you fancy doing an oil in the style of... I have a lady who I'm quite... I'm looking at... Uh, uh, I don't know if we've done it before, actually. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you Thursday. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.